Hello, everyone. I'm Jennifer, and today's episode is a treat for our beginner buddies out there. It's all about English podcast for beginners, new tips for learning English. Learning English should be an adventure, not a core. And that's why we're unveiling some fresh tips that'll make your learning experience not only effective, but downright enjoyable. So whether you're just starting or looking to spice up your routine, grab your favorite beverage, sit back, and let's dive into some exciting ways to make English a breeze. Now, let's jump into our first tip. The power of consistency. Learning English is a bit like planting seeds in a garden. You don't water them once and expect a flourishing garden, right? It's about those small, regular efforts that add up over time. So for our language learners, consistency is key. Allocate a short time each day for your English practice. It's not about overwhelming yourself with hours of study. It's about making it a daily habit. Treat it like a daily ritual, just like brushing your teeth or having a cup of coffee. Whether it's 10 minutes or 30, those daily language drops will eventually create a stream of progress. Think of it as nurturing a little language plant every day. The more you water it, the more it grows. Moving on to our second tip, the art of immersion. Imagine you're in a pool learning to swim. To get better, you need to be surrounded by water. The same goes for language learning. You need to immerse yourself in English. One fantastic way to do this is by changing the language settings on your phone, social media, or other devices to English. This simple switch introduces you to English words and phrases in your daily life, making them more familiar, Additionally, you can watch English cartoons, movies, or TV shows, listen to English songs or podcasts. The more you surround yourself with the language, the more you'll absorb and understand. It's like making friends with English. The more time you spend together, the closer you become. Now, let's add a sprinkle of fun to our language journey with our third tip, learning through play. Learning English doesn't have to be all serious and formal. It can be a joyful experience like playing your favorite game. Think of it as a language playground. Engage in word games. Explore language learning apps and solve language puzzles. These activities not only enhance your vocabulary and language skills, but also make the learning process enjoyable. Why not turn your language learning into a game? Challenge yourself with word puzzles, crossword puzzles, or even language-based mobile games. The idea is to make learning feel like an adventure where every discovery is a victory. Tip number four, find yourself a language buddy. Learning becomes a whole lot more fun when you have someone to share the adventure with. Imagine having a companion on this language quest someone who's also navigating the twists and turns of English learning. A language exchange partner or a fellow learner can be that perfect companion. Join online communities, language exchange platforms, or local groups where learners gather. Having a language buddy not only provides you with support, but also creates a sense of accountability. It's like having a workout buddy But for your language muscles, you can share your victories, tackle challenges together, and celebrate the joy of learning as a team. Our fifth tip is all about blending English seamlessly into your daily life, making learning a natural part of your routine. Imagine turning your everyday activities into mini English lessons. Let's start by labeling items around your home in English. Stick notes on your fridge, table, or door with English words. This simple act turns your living space into a vocabulary-rich environment. Now, as you go about your day, describe your actions in English. Whether you're cooking, cleaning, or getting ready for the day, verbalize your thoughts in English. 
It might feel a bit odd at first, but it's an excellent way to practice forming sentences and expressing yourself. These everyday situations become your personal language playground. The more you engage with English in your daily life, the more natural and comfortable it becomes. So you have to turn our daily routines into opportunities for English practice. Well, there you have it. A handful of fresh, exciting tips to elevate your English learning journey from the power of consistency to the joy of learning through play, finding language buddies, and integrating English into your daily life. Each tip is like a key unlocking a new level of language mastery. Remember, the key to language learning is not just to study, but to enjoy the process. Embrace the fun, celebrate the victories, and let each learning experience be a step forward. That wraps up another episode of our English Learning Podcast. I hope these tips bring a burst of enthusiasm to your language journey. If you have questions, share your experiences, or want to suggest future topics, feel free to reach out. Don't forget to subscribe for more language inspiration. And until next time, happy learning. This is Jennifer signing off. Cheers to your English adventure.